gentlemen, I got a little winter project going on here, whether you knew it or not from Instagram. Um, I am installing lights throughout the uh, F-22. Um, <coughs> sorry, I'm going to cough probably a little bit because I was sick like a week and a half ago, week ago, and left over with this little bit of cough. <coughs> <coughs> Just like so. So anyways, um, basically I decided I wanted to mod up this F-22 a little bit over the winter time. I got a few things coming. Um, first and foremost was, uh, LEDs. <coughs> I bought, uh, or I bought the, uh, Freewing F14 80 millimeter, uh, LED set, LED kit. <coughs> so there that is. Then I also ordered the stem wings formation lights for the F22. So there's one on each wing, one on each vertical stabilizer, and one on each side of the front of the nose. So... <coughs> those are pretty cool um basically i had to buy um some 28 gauge wire 10 feet of extra uh yeah 10 feet of 28 aug 28 gauge wire um and then i also purchased <coughs> some of these connectors from amazon i think they are uh, i'm not sure 20 20 aug or something like that um but they're JST connectors because this thing takes a uh, JST plug <coughs> and then it has a uh, balance lead for the battery. So basically, the very first thing that we did or that I did um, was cut out little slots for the formation lights. I just took a knife. I taped the length of the light to where the blade was even with it. So then when I cut down, I stopped right where the tape was, and that was automatically the exact uh, height for formation lights. So I did that for all of them and all the spots. Uh, I got these as close to being the same on each side as I could. <coughs> and then from there, I went ahead and made the, wild, the wire channel a bit bigger, um, cut out holes. For the lights and the wingtips, I wanted them in the wingtips and not right there where they were supposed to go because I wanted to be able to have it visible all the way around, like, no matter what. Um, because when you put them here and when I turn and the wing's facing at me like this, I'm not going to be able to see it if it was up here. Because I did not add strobes that might come in the future. Um, but I didn't feel like I needed strobes right now. So I would, I would really, really, really like to thank my... Uh, neighbor for helping me out uh solder all this together um it was a big deal to me um i appreciate it a lot um so now i'm gonna continue with uh what we did to get all the wiring correct so solder we tried to solder in the wingtip lights and the formation lights didn't work this uh, formation light requires a much higher voltage so that couldn't just work with this plug right here so we got the extensions and up to this JST plug right here. So whenever I plug in the wings, it's like a quick connect. Uh, I did not want to just leave wire on there and then have to like set the wings up on top whenever I transported it because that would have been pretty annoying. So I did that for both sides. You know, just again, I used a soldering iron actually to make the wire channels bigger. I just kind of ran it slowly along there and it burned it open just a little bit more. Um, it's perfect. Laid a little bit of glue down soon. I'm going to find some gray tape and we're going to lay it over it. Um, but not right now. I couldn't find any yesterday when I went to the store. <coughs> <coughs> so now for the wiring and the fuselage. We ran the wires down through here to the wing. <coughs> and have this plug right here. He soldered. Um... So that is right there. And then we also added more wiring and another connector up here. Some vertical stabs. So I can easily plug those in uh, constantly if I needed to. Uh, we ran that wire just up here <coughs> and actually soldered it together with this one right in here. Um, so we had to fish it through both sides. But basically... Yeah, so this wire 
right here to the vertical stabs. We did not just fish all the way up through here <coughs> and uh, solder up here. We soldered it with the wing lights right in here. So those two are together. Um, and then we ran the wiring up through here. So again, both sides soldered this together and this together, literally right in here. Um, well, we didn't do it while it was in there, but get the point. Um, so then we ran all the wires up here. He soldered them all up, um, positives and negatives. So the thing was I had my KMRC afterburner in here and that runs off of um, <coughs> the balance lead to the battery as well. So we combined that, we used the plug that came with the formation lights right here. Again, those were from stem wings. So we used this plug, we cut off the ones from, or the plug from right here and soldered all the positives and all the negatives together uh, to get this little rat's nest right here, but it's perfect. I'm gonna just tape the wires along the edge up here and then the ones in the back, maybe a little bit, probably not, it'll be more loose. <coughs> so I do have the afterburner and the formation lights onto the balance lead of the battery over there. So that's pretty convenient, works out well. Um, <coughs> for the vertical stabs, I got myself that, again, that 28 gauge, 28 aug wire from Amazon along with those JSD connectors right there. Um, that all came from Amazon. So, <coughs> yeah. my bad guys, sorry. Again, cut out the formation lights uh, spot for it up here. And there's a spar that goes down through here, but they the back of the formation light is actually thinned out. It's like cut off to, made, uh, to make room for the spar. So you lay it down literally right on top of it and it's perfect, perfectly flush with the foam. Um, so I'd go ahead and cut that. I went ahead and cut that out, glued it in, <coughs> cut the wire channels here, ran it down. We added the uh, connector on the bottom here for both of them. And again, I'm gonna just get some tape, some lighter tape right here, lighter gray tape. And then I'm gonna cut it off and it's gonna be dark through here. And then, yeah. <coughs> That'll be it for both sides. Um, but yeah, that's just a little bit of what I've done so far. Soon I'm gonna do uh, opening canopy mod, just like RC Jet Dude did. Um, if you guys haven't seen him, go check him out. Channel is RC Jet Dude. Um, pretty dang cool. Um, so I don't know what else, what much else there is to explain. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comment section since that's what it's for. <laughs> um, I'm getting the 3D cockpit parts for this too. <coughs> so the 3D cockpit and an opening canopy, this thing's gonna be decked out. Um, also gonna change the nose wheel soon and actually a few other things, but I'm not gonna mention them. Um, you guys will just have to wait and find out. But that's it right now for the lights. I'm gonna go ahead and put it together show you guys the lights but that's pretty much it it didn't seem too too hard at first we got doing it it was a little bit more complicated um just figuring out like these shouldn't have been tied together that didn't work um a couple other things especially this burner it was a little bit difficult at first it took me a while thank you kmrc for telling me that uh for letting me know that this would work and fit with the afterburner and all this tied together would uh work and <coughs> i will uh demonstrate that here in a second again these are from amazon these connectors right here these are like 20 augs so they're a little bit thicker wire than the 28 aug 10 foot extensions that i bought um sure pretty much that's like all i have left <laughs> and then the wingtip lights are free wing f14 80 millimeter 28 millimeter LED set right there. So I got some extra lights. We'll put them in something else or keep them for the future. But yeah, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and put this together. I'm going to show you guys how I got this all set up again. So afterburner and all those wires are positives and negatives uh, tied all together into this piece I got right here 
for uh, the from from the formation lights when I bought those. Again, those are from stemwings.com, S-T-E-M-W-I-N-G-S dot com. Um, so then, yeah, we got those wires running up through here to the wings to connect both sides. Then the vertical stabilizer ones are also like quick connects, I'm gonna call them, kind of like these in the wings. Um, those are soldered together with the wire for this up in here. <coughs> so that made it a lot more simple. We didn't have to run another set of wires up here. That would have been a little bit more difficult and annoying. Uh, it was my neighbor's idea to just go ahead and solder them up here together with this one. It was perfect. So again, any questions, let me know in the comment section. Um, and the wires just ran up right through here. And yeah, so I'm gonna start putting it together and we'll see how she looks. I did already test the lights and we uh, put it somewhat together. I'm just gonna demonstrate it now with everything like put together on it. I don't know what else I have to do to it um, with the wings being off and everything. So I'm gonna just put it together. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got the final product of the lights right here. I'm not aiming it at it right now because I don't wanna see it. I don't want you guys to see it just yet. But uh, all right, free wing F14 LEDs in the wing tips. And these are uh, slime lights by stemwings.com for the F22. Super nice. They're actually so bright, I almost don't even want to look at them. <laughs> turn the lights off and as you can see clearly bright <laughs> these are awesome absolutely awesome <coughs> cannot wait to fly it like this um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the gear down let's do it guys I was too excited to uh, get this thing together with the green lights I didn't even put the wing screws in so they're actually definitely slime green it doesn't look like that on the camera um but I, oh yeah i do have the afterburner programmed into with these lights as you can see still plenty bright and it works it's amazing guys what a miracle <laughs> things are this thing is awesome absolutely awesome guys so kmrc afterburner stem wings slime lights which are these all around the airplane and then your generic leds for the framing f14 which is pretty much the same for a lot of them um all these leds so you could get several different ones i've seen people do all kinds of different uh setups with these <coughs> with their f22s and different lights uh, but i decided to uh go with the setup i chose f14 leds stem wings and my preferably uh my preferable afterburner <laughs> from kmrc super good afterburner <coughs> but there you guys have it um so they're not really getting too too hot they are getting a little bit warm but not surprising. There's no airflow over it right now. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. Uh, the canopy is off because I'm doing some work on it soon, hopefully. Um, but yeah, nothing is getting hot. Wires are not hot. The afterburner board is just a little bit warm because I don't have anything on it. And I was just running it. Uh, this for the lights, not getting hot at all it's perfect guys this is gonna be super cool again this is just like part one of maybe i don't know three or four or five for modding up this f-22 over the winter here <coughs> it doesn't even seem like christmas to me guys out here in the missouri no snow or anything yet supposedly a white christmas eve but we'll see about that i'll be flying that day i'm sure Maybe a little something new coming. Um, 
but anyways folks that's the uh, f22 with the slime lights on it <coughs> turn off the lights here again oh nice bright green absolutely beautiful all right folks that's uh like i said that's it for this part um i might find a different uh nose wheel led make it brighter i think john from uh two brothers rc this is channel and now uh, he told me to get the free wing version 2 led um controller <coughs> so i'll have to check that out maybe have to get a better one of those but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and unplug this thing so all right guys if you got any questions comments anything of that sort please leave them down in the comments section um, I will be answering them as quick as I can. I'm pretty good about getting to them in 24 hours or less. <coughs> um, but yeah, folks, um, this is going to be awesome. So please like, subscribe, comment, and uh, stay tuned for more because we've got more to come. <laughs> All right. See you on the next one. It's KBRC.